Welcome back. If you notice the, the version of Eclipse that comes with uh, the Android SDK, there's not much to it. I mean, there's a few. it comes with a few components. It comes with the eGit, it comes with the Android tools, but it doesn't come loaded with a lot of the plugins that, um, that are normally associated with Eclipse. One of the things we want to do before we get into Android is, is look, a bit of, look at a bit of swing development, which is uh, UI for, for Java. If I wanted to write a UI application, it's done in Swing. Um, what I want to do now is install the Swing component. So if I wanted to um, create a form with buttons and so forth, we need the Swing tools to do that. It doesn't cost anything, thankfully, uh, but it's something you have to install. Now, I know that what it's called in um, in Java is Windows Builder. So let's see if I can do the install for Windows Builder. If I look for uh, Window Window Builder, excuse me, Window Builder Eclipse link. Okay, so these are the different versions of Eclipse that are out. I believe, let's see what version I have. Let's go to help, about, and look at the Eclipse version. I'm running 4.3.1, which I believe is Kepler. So let's go back to here. 4.3, Kepler, that's the, the, the version. Luna exists, that's a newer version. I'm not upgrading my Eclipse just yet, so I'm going to go to Kepler. Let's go to the link, and it gives you sort of instructions on how to do it. I'm going to do the same things here. First, I want to do is copy this link on my clipboard. I just did a control C behind the scenes. I'll go to here, uh, Eclipse, excuse me. Go to install new software. I'm going to paste that link with work in the work with section here. Now, you notice if I go into work with, this is uh, uh, how does this work? So this is these are plugins and so forth that I can install in Eclipse. Let's start, take a look at what's already installed. So if I wanted to see what plugins and so forth were installed, I've got the Android's Developers Tool. I've got all these different features that are uh, installed. Basically, this is like the details of of this window, right? So I can go in one by one and say, okay, what's the version of the Android open source project, it's this version. What's the version of Eclipse I'm running? It's this. What's the version of the eGit tool that I'm running? It's uh, 3.1. So far, so good. So let's go back to help, install new software. I'm going to drop that in. That's the link from the previous page. And I, I like just doing it one by one. I'll go to the Swing Designer to install. Click Next. It'll ask me to, to accept a license agreement, probably. Or, okay, these are the details of what's going to be installed. I click Next. Accept. Now, after it's done installing, it's going to ask me to restart, probably, restart Eclipse. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to wait till I install all three of those components. Um, the first one, was, like, like I said, it's going to ask me to restart. I'm going to say no. I'm going to go back to here, or not here, excuse me. I'm going to go back to uh, install new software. Again, paste that link. I'm going to do the second one, SWT Designer. That's the um, UI designer. I'm accepting the terms. It's installing. It runs pretty quick. It's not very difficult, or it's not very... This, this particular thing is not very complicated. Again, hit no. Go back to install paste again. I'm going to do the last part, which is the Windows Builder Engine. Uh, okay. Okay. I, I take that back. When I did um, the Window Builder Engine was, uh, there was a, a dependency, I'm sorry, when I did SWT Designer, there was a dependency for Windows Builder Engine. So that's one of the benefits of using this, this, um, this interface is that if you're trying to install things that are dependent, it will install the dependent things as well. So, so far, let's see what happens if I go back to the About window. Uh, oh, you know what? It's not there yet because I didn't restart. So the new software is not available until you start again. Let me close this, and I'm going to exit, and it's going to go back to here. And I'm going to restart Eclipse, and cross your fingers that it works. Oh, yeah, I think it should work. Android Developer Tools comes up. That's the splash screen. It's going to ask me for my workspace. I don't have a default, so it's going to prompt me every time I start Eclipse. It's loading all the plugins. 
and let's what happen. If I go to help, about, there it is. That guy right there, that is the uh, Windows Builder and SW, uh, SWT and Swing. Pretty cool stuff. How do I really know it's installed? Well, let's try to create a, a Swing project. If I go to new, it's not one of the, the default ones yet. Like we, we can we can probably do that if we want to. But I go to new, go to the uh, the top screen. The, the, so the, where I have general Android and so forth, I'm going to go to Windows Builder. And I'm going to say, give me a new SWT type project. I'm going to call it S my SWT. Not change the Java environment. Not change anything else. Click finish. It's going to set up the Java project. Set up the correct references. I hope. There we go. And here's my JRE. Here's my reference libraries. You notice I'm referencing org.eclipse.jface, org. All these different. These are uh, these are SWT type libraries. All right. Looks good so far. There's no code in it yet. Let's let's create a, a form. If I get a new, again, go back to other, and let's do a SWT application window. I'm going to call it my main screen, and I'm going to call this, pa it's going to be in package, uh, main package. Oops, package spelled right. There we go. Click a finish. It's going to create a package and a class. There's package main package. There's class my main screen. Notice it creates the, like the the Java stub methods to do the open to do the create contents. Okay, but now this this window. Let me shrink this a bit and kind of expand this. This window is a little bit different. This looks like Java code for sure. Let's take a look at the design. This is the designer for this Java code. So in other words, if, if I were to I don't know, drag uh, a text box, excuse me, a text box, there we go. So I can paint and I can make this wider, all the stuff that you can do with, uh, with the UI designer. Watch this, if I go back to source, that stuff right there, excuse me, all this, this part, excuse me, that was part of the text. In other words, when I when I use the the UI designer, it's creating Java code on the fly. It's creating Java code in the background. The text dot new text shell SW border text set bounds 35, 50, 175, and 21. That has to do with where it sits on the panel. So if I move it down, and then I go back to here, you notice that the the boundaries are a little bit different, the X and Y coordinates and all that stuff. Point is, this designer, this designer was installed when we installed the SWT, the uh, SWT tools and window builder. Certainly, if you again, if you look at this, you could say, oh, I can write this stuff myself. I can write simple Java code. But why would you want to do that if you could use the designer to do it for you? Excellent. Thank you very much for your time.